Global warming being the biggest problem facing this country is ridiculous. We have bigger problems right now. There is no greater threat to our planet than climate change, one of the major issues of our time. I actually have spoken to Donald Trump and told him that the UK believes in the Paris Agreement. I went to Antarctica to film a documentary about climate change. That's for the ship. Except I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to try and match the BBC or the National Geographic and create something beautiful. We all know Antarctica is beautiful. I think he's really cute. Oh, he just fell over. <laughs> and I'm by no means an expert. My only claim is that I kind of like our planet and I don't really want people screwing it over. 97% of scientists agree that climate change over the last century has been caused by humans. So why is the voice of the 3% so loud? It seems we live in an era in which science and scientists are in danger of being held in low and decreasing esteem, and this will have serious consequences. Human activity is changing the climate. That is beyond dispute. Everything else is politics. It's supposed to be 70 degrees today. It's freezing here. We need some global warming. We trust politicians to make the right decisions. Make our planet great again. But what happens if they don't? The United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. In this HuffPost film, we'll see how climate change will force people to flee their homes as islands and cities drown under rising seas. How an increase in tourism in Antarctica could speed up its decline. And we ask, whose responsibility is it to save us? This is Antarctica, the end of the Earth, the only land not owned by humans. Nearly twice the size of Australia, it's got 90% of the world's ice, 70% of the world's fresh water, about 40 million penguins, but no people. We're traveling with a boatload of scientists to discover what the ice melting here means for us back home. It just seems like such a huge topic that is, you can't sum it up in one sentence. And I guess that's kind of why we came out here to try and understand it and try and break it down a bit more for people who haven't done a PhD in marine biology or, you know, haven't, haven't spent years and years, uh, you know, studying glaciers. But let's start with the dictionary's definition of climate change. A change in global or regional climate patterns in particular, a change apparent from the mid to late 20th century onwards and attributed largely to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. Climate change is overwhelming and the science can be more than complicated. Scientists use a lot of uh, words that often are perceived wrongly. <laughs> Tom is on this trip to learn more about environmental action for business. He also studied glaciers at Cambridge University. When scientists say, you know, there is uncertainty, they're often not pointing towards the fact that climate change itself is uncertain, but the degree to which a factor can influence climate change is uncertain. And why is our focus on Antarctica? Because it has 90% of the world's ice melt it, <laughs> rest of the world swims. I'd like to understand more about why some people don't believe the science. The issue is not whether the climate is changing, as it always is changing. The issue is whether there is legislative proposals before us that could do anything about it. I think it's a big scam for a lot of people to make a lot of money. Do you think we are addressing climate change with enough urgency as it deserves? I think we're over-addressing it. Harrison Schmidt is a former U.S. Senator and the only professional geologist to walk on the surface of the moon. If we continue along this path, it's going to cause a significant economic disruption. Even when people do believe the climate is changing, there's a whole new argument over whether humans are to blame. Nature is driving the climate, and uh, we are very presumptuous to think that, that we're going to have a significant effect. Uh, in fact, there's some indication that the sun is starting to become less active. 
over the last several cycles and that uh, we may actually start to see some cooling. And more recently, it has, uh, it has not been warming nearly as much as the so-called uh, climate models have predicted. Hang on a minute, what did he say? It has not been warming nearly as much as the so-called uh, climate models have predicted. While scientists say the sun could be entering a cooler period, there is no evidence that this will counteract the effects of greenhouse gases. So it's our first time on Antarctica. It's really not that cold, nowhere near as cold as I thought it would be. Um, but I know that uh, it was the warmest day ever recorded in Antarctica just before we left London. This is a beautiful day. I mean, of course we enjoy it, it's pleasant, but in fact it's a bad sign. It shouldn't be so nice at this time of the year. It should be snowing heavily and the winter should be coming. OK, there is evidence on the ground that Antarctica is getting warmer. So does this mean we should all be panicking? If tomorrow NASA told us all that there was a meteor coming from outer space that was going to hit this planet in 20 years and wipe it out, we would get together fast and we would accelerate technology, we'd get our act together and we'd do something about that threat. What people can't see quite and what I find exhausting is that that's actually happening and that we are going to destroy ourselves. The sea ice reflects the sun back out of, uh, out of the earth um, and then... Why are you laughing? <laughs> I want to learn more about the science behind climate change. I'm sailing from the port of Ushuaia in Argentina, travelling more than 600 miles south into the Antarctic Circle. So this will be my home for the next 10 days. I don't have the luxury of a big crew. It's just me, my colleague Dawn and our cameras. There's a mix of people on the ship because anybody can come as long as you can afford it. On board with us is a load of activists, scientists, tourists, explorers, a world famous adventurer and his son, marine biologists, ornithologists, glaciologists, and people from all over the world. 